Tomorrow it will up on D2L. So D2L comes with your course and then see others and the all the way end you will see surface. It will up tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. it will be up, okay? Then then give us your feedback, okay? So I don't have time to listen everybody's opinion here. Okay, so let me see. So on this page, okay, I am putting every day on my lecture. I don't know how, I don't enforce you, how many of you are uh, uh, looking for uh, reviewing my lecture. And especially, there is a course textbook. You know, how many of you have a uh, chance to download this course textbook? One. Can you please tell me how many pages a Java book has? Like a, that's it. It's the same one that they use in 1301. Yeah. Anyone, anyone has downloaded the book? Please download it. Yeah. Yeah, how many pages? 1100 pages. 1300 pages. 1300 pages. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know but, but for me, you know, you know, from the very beginning, I know I thought that it would be difficult for you to read 100 pages for one chapter. So, so this very large book, okay, 1,300 pages. This is why sometimes I told them it is easy to do Google search or go to YouTube, but many of you did not like that my opinion that you send that I am, I am sending you to outsourcing. Okay, this is why the good way to learn this, read the book, download the book and read it. Download the book, you have to read it. You have to read this book. There is no alternative option. I do not see, you know, I do not see any alternative option that, that without reading the book. So the book, for instance, let us open the book. You see how many pages this book has? More than 1300. 1345, but there are some pages that are, are not needed. So still it has, still it has like how many chapters? It has more than 30 chapters. Okay, so actually this course has a lot of content. This course has a lot of content. Like for instance, but I have to cover one week uh, polymorphism and abstraction, I have to cover in one week, right? String, string operation I have to cover by two, two nice class. And then uh, Java FX. There is a big chapter for Java FX. So there is a big chapter for Java FX, like 14, Java FX, chapter 14, 15, and 16. Three chapters of Java FX. Okay, but only one class was allocated for me, for that one, right? So for Java FX, for instance, Java FX, how do you start Java FX? So one thing that if we use Eclipse that are in my for instance in uh, on D2L I sh I showed you a video link how to install Java Apex plugin with Eclipse. Okay, if you on if you can install Java Apex plugin on Eclipse, then you can start writing Java Apex program. Okay, so now I have covered that course uh, that uh, PowerPoint live. Yes, this is one thing. I have covered the PowerPoint slide. For example, the three chapters of all in one class. Allocated, right? Now it is your duty to read the book and do practice. How can I help you to, to practice for you? Can I help practice for you? I, I need a problem that's similar to a problem that can be on the test that I can practice. That's yeah. what I need. Okay, I will convey your message. I will convey, yes. So, like, I'm, I'm a very visual learner, so it's, it's easier for me to, if I see you work something out and explain the logic, like an arrow and a diagram on the board, it's easier for me to understand what you're saying. Yeah. Like, if I see you work something out and explain the logic, like an arrow and a diagram on the board, if you could do that for Java and C++ right next to each other, or C Sharp right next to each other, and show me, hey, this is the similarity, this is the difference in syntax, that's going to help me personally. I don't, I don't know about yeah, it. I, I showed you, right? I showed you how the... Uh, yeah, so like, I, like I, even, even 
like, I, I get that sometimes I'm kind of around the lab, but this is a big classroom, and so it's hard to see in the feet. It's like, even if you're not even sitting back there, what have you been using I've been using the same for several times for five minutes. You know, this is this is your work. I am T. I am. If you do not know, I'm the part. What can I do? But beyond that, um, <laughs> I know you post those videos on board, and sometimes it's stuff like you got right here. If you can get a video of you working those out and post it, that's going to help me because I'll be able to go through those steps. Also. I I started showing that, but many people discouraged me. Well, I, I don't want to discourage you. No, so so this is why I stopped. And there are a lot of videos. There are a lot of videos. Mainly, mainly you need to read book. Mainly you need to read book. Book has everything. Yes. Class has some predefined method. 
redefined method that we can easily use. For instance, there is a method lane. This method returns the lane, an integer lane, of that how many characters this string has in integer type. So for instance, if we say integer n equal to message dot length, then it will pick, return me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, maybe 13, including backspace, including blank space. Okay? And this is an empty string. Okay? There is a null, null string. I will tell you later. Empty means nothing within double quote. But if you put a space, that is, there has something. Space means there is something in space. In keyboard, if you want to type in space, you have to press a key, right? It doesn't happen automatically. You have to press a key. Okay? So, the, in Java, we say string is in uppercase, but in C sharp, is, you can use in uppercase and lowercase. Both. Okay? So, in C sharp, in C sharp, you can put in uppercase and lowercase, same code, both in C and C++. Okay? In Java, in object-oriented programming, I know uh, well in Java, I don't know, maybe it will be the same or maybe it will be different with C sharp, but I'm telling for that. In Java, there is a string constant pool. It's called string constant pool, okay? String constant pool is a repository. Java programming language has a string constant pool. What is the advantage of having string constant pool? There is, there are some advantages of having string constant pool. This will not be in your test. I'm just telling you, okay? For a, a, a extra, this is in book. If you read the book, then you will get this. Okay? So string constant pool is that, for instance, in, in Java, you can declare a string by two ways. For instance, one string like S1 equal to using new operator new string etc. String, for instance, within double code, you will put the value. For instance, Java 5. Okay. Then, and this is using string class. And there is another way to declare string just like this way. String S2. Okay, for instance, G, string S2 equal to Java 8 or Java 5, anything. Okay, the difference between this is an object and this is a reference. There is a big difference between string object and string reference. I will tell you in a second. So, what happens? Okay, so every time you use a new operator, it will create a new string. Every time if we create a new operator, it will create a new string. Okay? But every time you, uh, you once you create a use a reference, string reference, it will not create a new string object. It will not take memory space. What it will do, it will be linked with a, an existing string object. For instance, here you see what happens the string, the string constant pool, what is that? The string constant pool contains all of the declared strings. All, all declared strings contain. Once it sees, it finds that if a string object is already on the string pool, okay, then it reuses that one. For instance, let me see if I have another string. For instance, here. So, is, is it really something important for you to watch? Yes. I know I'm asking you, is it really something important for you to watch over there, except other than listening my class? Really, this is a tough class. Yeah, I'm talking to someone, she knows. He or she knows. Okay. So, no, no, no. Really, this is a tough class. This is not an easy class. So, for instance, let, let me try. Yes. Well, uh, actually, I have a question about the um. So, the you said that if you don't say new, it's attached to a previously declared object, right? So, by doing that, what are what are some issues that I, that can create? Like, if I don't say new, if I just instantiate S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, and I don't say any new, it's going to be like issues. 
What is the here? If I say string a string one with CR one equal to new new Java string, then what it will do? It will create a string object with value Java five. For instance, this is the this is for line one. As line is executed, this will create this one. Okay, and the whole thing is a string on a sample. Okay, this is the string on a sample. Okay, then if I say string is here two equal to Java five. This is a string reference. You see, there is no new keyword, so this is a reference. Okay, so then what will happen? Let me see. So this will string true. It will go to string pool, and it will create a string object that will value string five. Let us see what will happen. That the interest is coming here. Again, if I see string s three equal to new string two. String two means value will be Java five, right? Okay. Then it will create another object. So I have new here, right? It will create a new object. So, so as as many times as I use new operator, it will create a new object in different in different places. Done. Then if I say string s four equal to Java five, then this s string four will start cut. Will start. Is there any predefined string that has value Java five? It will say, is there any predefined value? Is there any predefined string that has Java five? So yes, we will see that yes, there is a string true that has Java five value. So it will locate or link to the same object. That means in this case, string true and string four. They will locate or link to a single one. So if I then change string four, will it alter string two? If I don't put new, if you do not put new, then it will not create a new new uh, new object. Then if you use a something new, if you say Java eight, then it will create another object over here. In Java eight. The, yeah. main, uh, the main thing is that the string reference will check for existing string, string value in the string pool. String for the pool is a repository. It will check there. If it finds an ex existing string with same value, then it will look at that. Yes. So is uh, string two and string four connected? Sorry? Is string two and string four connected. Like whatever you do. Yes. So string two, whatever it is creating that. So, so you know the difference between that when you use new operator, it will create an independent object. And if you do not use string uh, new operator, if you use string reference, then it will use string constant pool. String constant pool is repository that contains all string references. The advantage is that so whenever it find an existing string with same value, this string will use that same same object. If you read more about in the book, then you will see the advantages of using string for. I think similar concept is used in and the C sharp. Yeah. So if I change string two to like C sharp five, would string four also be cool C sharp five? Yes, yes, yes. So now we understand that string is uh, using string object and string reference, different between. Understand? If you read the book, then you will get this thing. Okay. There are some advantages of using string uh, function too. What is one advantage? That it shares that value, right? right. memory. Yeah, it shares memory. Right. Program data faster. Okay, so like in C plus plus, we could not use plus operator to add two strings. But in Java and Python and C sharp, it becomes easier to use as uh, to use as. Uh, what is that called? Class operator 
you know, with your program developer, right? So he created this data as a string, as a string, right? So when you are passing data, passing the code from your database, you will get it as a string, right? But in order to multiply, for instance, if, if this is a power or salary, okay, so if I want to multiply by eight, okay, so then can you multiply 12.50 by eight, string by eight? No. Then you need to convert this string into double, right? First double. You appear this first class. You understand why do you need? Okay, here. Yeah. Can anyone please come here and volunteer to explain it? 
But it says I'm I'm I can yes coming. Yes coming. Yeah, but it says I don't I don't know uh, how to explain it. Let me check it yes come. Yeah, look at the fly and then and then let us I will I will try to follow your method, okay? So if anybody understands him, then I will follow his method, okay? Yes. Okay. Um, so basically, since uh, or uh, so you see how string reading has the uh, basic string hello comma space word uh, world. Um, everything in that string counts as the index. The index starts from zero, which is a capital H, and the string reading. What string sub is doing is using the substring method. Which uh, the beginning index, as you see, zero is inclusive, whereas five is exclusive. Basically, meaning that at five, which is a comma, it stops. It does not uh, basically add that to the string sub. So, as you can see at the bottom, sub is hello, because five at index five, there's a comma, is not included. Everyone understand? Yeah. Okay. So, what happens if I say hi? Comma ten, I comma ten. Uh, then it starts at five, which is a comma, goes all the way to ten and stops. So it will be comma space W O R. Yes, you understand? Say I start from uh, substring zero and I don't include the end index, and then it goes from zero all the way to the end. Is that Yeah. 
So that means it will go two comma eight. That means actually two to seven. Right? The two to seven means zero one two. S S I S S I S. What is the seventh one? Please tell me. S Ah, two right? S S I S S I. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six characters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I think this. Okay. Then what is the value of that thing one? Everything except <coughs> index zero, right? So that will be I S S I S S I P P I. Yes. Okay, what do you remember this? You know. No, I know what it was, but I was going to say, what, what if I wanted to just pick one, like just get a letter, but I would do it with the first one. If I just wanted, like, the index of the second part, then I would let, do it. Let, let me tell you a story. I, sometime, like, three years ago, I worked in an insurance company. In an insurance company, they have the legacy software written in uh, C class class, okay, and then so in that program, I saw that many programs, many errors came for C handling, especially for clustering. Okay, so we we sit two people, two programmers together, in order to figure out what is happening, why the error is coming. Actually, sometimes we recognize it's just difficult for us to recognize the, especially the boundary values, boundary values of things, because sometimes in order to generate later, that every day you see later, dozens of later you get right. From billing company, right? It is as yes, a billing company, they get data from this different generation and they concatenate and then they find your first name, last name, address, last four digit of social security number. The, uh, so it, it is really a tough thing, especially what very errors happen using same substing operation. <laughs> this is why I like to give attention about substing. Okay. Okay, I got the question out. Okay. Okay. So actually, this method, the last one, you see the substring one and this one actually the same. These two 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 operations are same. You see the last two. You see river dot substring one and the river dot substring one. Dot river dot length will give the same answer. In, in the book, there are many examples. Read the book, and then I like you to write program. Then do not copy and paste. But sometimes I do in order to save time. You can do sometimes to save time. Yeah, but what my, my request is that please. Type in program, okay? When you try, you will do some mistake. And from your mistake, you will get some error message. And try to understand, don't be afraid with the error message. Try to understand what is the error message and why it is coming from. Yes. Sorry? Can you please come forward? I can't hear it. <laughs> yeah, you can you can get multiple ways. You can get a get a task by multiple ways. Can you please come here and explain uh, what, what do you like me? Yeah. I, I think maybe. Tell me, please. Oh, like, 
Immutable means what is called immutable? He cannot change. Once you once you define a string, okay, it stays a value on um, on memory, and if you change this value, it takes another another position in memory. It creates another reference in memory. This is why this string is called immutable. Because the reason is that so in string method, in string method there is no setup method. In string class, in string class there is no setup method. So you cannot set except the string. So this is why string in Java and then C sharp and Python string is called immutable object. This is a, an interview question. Why C is called immutable? Because there is no setup. There is no setup method in string class. So you cannot, once you define a string, you cannot change this value. Uh, uh, so if you change this value, it will create another Not on the same position, different position. So in string, there is index of method. It creates the index of method. That means it finds index of, for instance, index of E. That means it will check from the left, and wherever it gets the first E, first character, it will give 0 and 1. For instance, if you find index of O, what will you get? If you want to find index of O, there are two O's, right? One is here and another O is here, right? So it will be, it return you the first occurrence. First occurrence is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, yes. Okay. So if there are some, for instance, E, for E you will get 1, index of E is 1. So, so since this is character, in some languages it will allow you, I don't know, maybe in, the, in Python, to put in double quote, single character, but in Python, because in Python there is no character. Right? Everything is in Python, everything is a uh, string. So, but here, for instance, if we find the index of R, so it will find, it will check for where is the first occurrence of O. So, first occurrence of O is here. Or O at this year. So I'm telling you again and again, please read the book. There is no alternative without reading book. Are you are you passing my in the sheet? Everybody are silent. Okay, so there are many, uh, if you are frequently uh, used string methods that are used, so look in the book, or uh, 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 I will not tell you through the book of class, okay? I will not tell you, but look, read the book. Okay, so anyone has any question about this, this lecture? So I really request you, please read, read the book. Please read the book and practice. Every week, practice at least when I speak to the now. Okay, so now on software and on on syllabus, I put a five. The um the yeah. so has an instruction post on each level. Um, are those those just post count for the grade? Because I couldn't find it in syllabus. I wasn't sure. You don't have to find out right now. Okay, I'll just check. But just, I'll ask you again on Thursday. Yeah. Okay. Isn't it within the like quizzes and discussions? Fifteen percent. Right. I, isn't that a part of it? There's like I will see. He said he he said he did not find anything on similar. I, well, I probably just don't. As the grade as the grade bit breakdown, like quizzes, maybe. Yeah. I, I may you're, probably, you're probably right. I might be wrong. I just, that's